Welcome to the fourth episode of Roasting Your Laptops. You guys seem to really like this series. It's not getting tons of views, but it's getting a good amount and I'm gonna continue doing this until you guys all get sick of me. With that being said, if you have a bad setup, please feel free to submit it, but also like the video, subscribe so I can continue this setup in the near future. Now the first one, okay? This one's kind of interesting because it comes from a dude named AT and he has this little setup that he calls his light and casual gaming setup. He plays games like CSGO, Valorant, and Rainbow Six and he uses an Acer Swift 3 laptop with an 11th gen Intel processor. The cool thing about this laptop is it does use a pretty good integrated GPU, the Iris Xe, which can run these games quite comfortably, but he's definitely not doing any heavy lifting with this thing. What I don't understand though, okay, and this is what struck out to me right away is what type of desk is this? Based on the angle it's in, he's probably using it for art because there's a bunch of pencils in the little basin on the bottom, but this is not a laptop desk. This thing's on a slant. It's awkward to type on, it's awkward to use, and I feel like most of the gaming he does on this thing is trying to catch the laptop of the table. I see him spending his days just going, <laughs> I don't know why he's panting like a dog, but, but just trying to catch the laptop from falling off. Above his entire setup, he has a little whiteboard. It looks like he's studying communism based on all the words he has up there, like German humiliation, Cuban Missile Crisis, and the rise of Stalin. The only crisis here is this laptop desk. Like, come on. <laughs> At least like put the laptop on the back part where it's flat or get some sort of arm to hold it up because having it slanted like that is just very awkward. Now the next setup comes from Andrew and he is rocking his work laptop setup. This is what he has to look forward to every single day when he comes into work. It's chaos, okay? This is disgusting, all right? You have crap all over your desk. There's teapots, there's cups, probably haven't been washed in 25 years. Cables are flying all over the place, okay? You have two monitors, one of them's off, not even working, and then everything is shoved in the corner. Like you're sitting here and you're just in an awkward position all day. You must have like severe lower back pain. And what's up with the Kleenex beside the cream? Like what are you doing at work? If you get caught doing what I think you're doing, you're not gonna have a job here much longer. I mean, he put some plants that looks like they're about to fall over onto his desk to give it some greenery, but there's nothing peaceful about this setup. And look at that mouse space. Like look at the amount of space he's giving his hand to move that mouse. Like it is just, so cramped between the keyboard and the teapot, it must take him half an hour to move the cursor from one side of the screen to the next. I will say this though, I am gonna give Andrew 10 out of 10 for his laptop cooling pad. It looks like he stole the box where his boss keeps his papayas and then cut it up and turned it into a makeshift laptop cooler. Now this is hands down my favorite setup so far because I have no idea what's happening here. But two things come to mind. Either his sister broke into his room with her little friends and put up a pink net to have a princess party, or number two, he's being attacked by mosquitoes. And the only way to prevent them from eating them when he's on his computer is by placing this net above it. I don't know, man. I can't even tell if he's using a laptop here, but based on what I can see is that his setup is actually kind of neat. The monitor fits perfectly inside of that little crook. He has two shells which are neatly organized. He has a keyboard tray to rest his keyboard and the speakers are leveled above him. It looks like a neat setup, but I really hope you're okay, Vikra, because uh, yeah, you shouldn't be having that many issues with mosquitoes inside of your house. Now the next setup comes from Mario, not Luigi. Mario, and he has a laptop, which is an IdeaPad 320, an i5 7200, and an NVIDIA 940 MX. He has it connected to a full HD 14 inch 1920 by 1080 display and has a one terabyte hard drive. Now this is the most cramped workspace I've seen in this entire video and I have no idea how he gets any work done here because the keyboard is so close from falling off that every time he pounds on it, it must rattle. It must get to the point where it almost falls off and interrupts his workflow. In fact, you can tell right now on his screen, it's white because he probably hasn't been able to do any work since he's created this setup. Even the mouse pad is flippity flopping off the table, you know? Like, I can't imagine how many times he's dropped his accessories. Like, this is just too tiny for this type of setup. In fact, you're better off just using the laptop the way it is instead of connecting anything to it. Or, if you wanna be a little bit more neater, get rid of those shelves. Get rid of all the crap in the back, take it off, push the laptop all the way back, and then at least you have a little bit of space for your keyboard. Come on, Mario, smarten up. I don't like this one, okay? 
Now, I just wanna give a little public service announcement because I get setups like this all the time being submitted. This is not a setup. Okay, all because you take the time to place a laptop on the desk with a mouse pad and an actual mouse, it doesn't mean it's an actual setup that people want to see. We wanna see some creativity, some focus, some passion, maybe a laptop stand, maybe an arm for a monitor, maybe a light, a plant. This is just not it. So if this is all you're gonna send me, don't send it at all because I'm not gonna showcase it in future videos. This setup comes from Sigit and another cramp space to the point where I'm actually nervous for him because he has this beautiful Asus ROG G15 laptop, which is absolutely awesome. And it's sitting there in the corner of the desk about to fall off. On top of that, you can tell things have fallen off this desk before and have gone to their death, like that paper on the floor. And he hasn't even taken the time to pick it up. Now, he does have a monitor to give him more screen real estate, but the fact that the laptop is even open with the screen off makes me think that he doesn't need the laptop display to do most of his work. He also has another laptop on the left-hand side, which probably hasn't been used in a thousand years. Now, just like the dude who showed me his office laptop setup, this guy has a lack of mouse space, and he too may have a little more, but I guarantee you it takes him at least 13 hours to get the mouse cursor from the right side of the screen to the left due to the lack of space he has to move it. Now, he does have a beautiful keyboard with RGB, which probably has a nice mechanical clicky feel, but man, this desk, way too small. Get rid of that laptop on the left. Move the monitor over a little bit. You're not even centered. Your neck must be in pain every time you use this thing. Because right now, one day, this second, could be tomorrow, maybe next week, maybe on a Friday, that laptop is gonna fall right off. Anyways, that wraps up another roasting your laptop setups. If you wanna submit yours to the Roast My Laptop Setup series or Best Laptop series, there'll be instructions in the description down below. Just make sure you send me 16 by nine photos as it makes my life easier when I'm editing this. As usual, if you enjoyed this content, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.